Here we have Revoltex, Professor Layton, from the Nintendo series of puzzle games on the DS. So let's have a look at the box. That's right, I'm now a serious toy collector and I don't want to get any fingerprints on my toys. That's right, don't want grubby boxes with little fingerprints everywhere. So, we get Mr. Professor Layton telling you you're correct. The kid taking the cheat notes to put on the old interwebs. Usual stuff. Some of the wonderful games he's appeared in. That's right, he comes with some serious hardcore accessories. A teacup, a chair and a table. Look at that. He's badass. Sing-along tunes. Interesting. Why do I bother? So they've included a booklet advertising the new sci-fi range. And many of the different figures that'll be showing up. Jack. Some of those creatures, Alien, Batman. It's kind of a bit weird seeing Batman as a Revoltech figure. Not complaining. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see what came in the box. You get the usual case to hold the parts, the chip, a replacement head, a book and pen, four sets of right hands, a left hand, a cup, of course the table and chair, and a display stand. Plus, you get some booklets. So it comes with a little insert card, which seems to have a tune on it. Now I wonder will this tie in with one of the games, or if it's just some random tune. I don't know. You also get the booklet, so you've seen these many times before. More Zoids, action figures, the usual. Uh, Ava, we get over here. Alien, don't know, Chinese warriors, I don't know. Um, Open it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, got it. There it is. Uh, what's Revoltech? That's a good question. Uh, figures, figures, more figures. Black and white figures. Uh, the less said about that, the better. So let's take a close look at the hands. So he comes with a little cup in his hand. Now there's actually a little bit of detail in the tea, which is actually nice. Not too sure if you can make that out. But you can actually see kind of swirls or milk in the tea, which is kind of neat. So order for that, it's just a pretty much a straightforward hand. So he comes with his Uncle Sam pointer finger. Then you've got the hand to hold the pen. So this hand comes with a little hole, so you can place the saucer into his hand. It's not a great fit and I don't want to force it. So here we have the fountain pen. It's pretty nicely detailed considering its size. The base of the pen just gets pushed in between the fingers, like so. Now it also is available for this hand, but it just uses gravity to stay in place. So I can turn it upside down and it falls out. Here we have the replacement face. And mine I think has a little bit of ink run on the mouth. Either that or he's got a little toot showing through. Hmm, full spot. So the neck has two points of articulation. So he's got one at both the base and the top of the neck. So he can do a little bit of chicken head. He can also do a full 360. So the shoulder's on the usual Revoltech joint. Well, a mini one, which you can just pop off. And then if you open up the coat, you'll see how it's constructed. Again, a Revoltech joint for the abdomen, and a little bit of a flap there to spare his modesty. And that 
goes back in there. Get in. Come on, put your coat on. All right, we got a paraplegic Professor Layton. So as you can see, just standard Revoltec joint. In you go. So with a bit of fiddling, you can get it to the full 360, as you'd expect. If you look at the elbow, it's just a single Revoltec joint. It can only do about 90 degrees. The hand's on a Revoltec peg system. So you can wave it down, you can wave it up, and obviously spin it around. Pop you out to change his hand. So as I showed you before, just a Revoltec joint in the waist. It'll turn from side to side. The legs on the single Revoltec joint again, go out to the side and then turn around. But again, it's a little bit hindered by the coat and the flap at the front. Knees a single joint, it's a little over 90, but not much. And then another Revoltec joint for the ankle. But there's not much articulation. And obviously it'll turn side to side slightly. So to change his head, you just pop off his hat. He's got two little holes to fit into his horns. That's right. Professor Layton is demon spawn. And then you just pull off the head. Then you just hold his big ears and you pull the face off to reveal a kind of odd looking creature that almost passes as an alien face. <laughs> Paint some eyes onto that. I don't know, I think that kind of works. Pudge and Rog. So you take the replacement face and just push the two together, like so. Dump the do. So you look at the horns, the one on the right side is bigger than the one on the left. And it's the same for the hat. Just line it all up. Ta-da! Got a wobbly head in them. Professor Layton's a headbanger. Oh yeah. The coat won't fully come off as it's glued onto his back, which is a pity because I was going to have some fun. Anybody see my arms? How can you not love a Voltex? Professor Layton is a bit of an oddity in the fact that Revoltec is predominantly an action figure line, but that doesn't stop this from being an excellent representation of the good professor. The novel accessories included only add to the anti-action vibe, a table and chair, teacup and saucer, book and pen, and a cobblestone display base. You'd almost wonder who this figure is being aimed at. The only real problem this figure suffers from is balance issues caused by his massive head and even bigger top hat. The selection of hands is adequate, but some clobbering time fists would have been nice. I could see the professor going all Sherlock Holmes and following the Queensbury rules, of course, and laid a smackdown on some poor fools. The plastic coat does make the shoulders a little more involved to pose, but nothing insurmountable. And the revolt joint used for the knee is quite small. These aren't the strongest and will weaken with play. Despite this balancing issue, L is still quite poseable and surprisingly fun, mostly due to the novelty factor. Would I recommend this? If you like having tea party with your toys, most definitely. Or if you like comparing diary entries, again, this is for you. But to be honest, I think this is primarily for fans of the puzzle games. But the figure has enough personality to sell itself without relying on the game series. So in a word, maybe. I really like the new direction Kyoto is taking the Revoltec line with their tokusatsu or live action toys. Revoltec could really bring an interesting new take on old classics like Terminator, Tron, Robocop would love to see what they do with Ed 209, but looking at some of their other releases due under this tokusatsu line, Toy Story's Woody and Buzz seem out of place in what's dubbed live action. Also, with Revoltec consistently dipping in and out of the video game genre, having done things like Fate Stay Night, Professor Layton and Street Fighter, I really hope we get to see more characters make the crossover. So this was me with another review saying Slauncher.